Well, good morning, everyone, on this Friday morning for you. Final day of forecasting here for Texarkana. As uh, for, uh, I do have a question and someone asked. I'm going to try to address that uh, here and, of course, give you an update on uh, Wednesday's uh, numbers in case you uh, haven't uh, already heard, as I show them this evening at 6. But let's go through those, first of all, and uh, see if I can get this to go. There we go. You can see forecast of the day for Wednesday came from the team at Hooks Junior High along with the uh, with Team 1 and Team 3 from New Boston Middle, both, or all three, I should say, had uh, one point. So, well done with that one. And uh, as far as the forecast of the day, I should say the, the top five, uh, the Team 3 from New Boston Middle is ahead for, of four other teams. You can see very close there, but I might add that probably about 15 teams are within 10 points. Of first place so the contest is still really really up for grabs in fact uh, I do know the numbers for tomorrow for today's results and this is going to look much different uh, this top five when I show it to you uh, tomorrow and I'll try to post those uh, numbers here when I get home tonight uh, meantime let's give you a look at first of all uh, the forecast for uh, Texarkana for Saturday and again uh, we are going to be looking at conditions across the area that will be uh, watching a front which is going to be to the south of Texarkana. You can see the occasional round of rain here which does move past as models relatively low rainfall chances Futurecast not showing anything actually moving into the uh, Texarkana area but the chance is there that it could happen. Uh, as far as temperatures, let me stop this and uh, show you those temperatures first of all i'm going to do this manually and we'll start you at midnight saturday morning that would be tonight and you can see that um, low so would be, we would begin at 40 in texarkana and then we would see those temperatures uh for the most part stay relatively steady you can see by 6 a.m down to 38 degrees so that might be the low what happens as far as the high you can see going through the day saturday futurecast really really rather chilly here for saturday keeping temperatures for the most part in the 40s as it looks like that 42 was perhaps the high there's 43 44 right at midnight so it looks like temperatures may actually rise somewhat during the day with a kind of a weird time for the high low perhaps at 38 degrees and you can see that we would see a little bit of a rise late in the period uh, perhaps in the into the low to middle 40s. So Futurecast is showing a bit of a, a cool. Uh, I have not looked at the new model numbers here to kind of compare that, but that kind of gives you an idea of what Futurecast is showing. Now, the question I had was, what does, on a the weather map, what did that purple uh, front mean? And some of you, I may have mentioned this, uh, there is a different type of front. Uh, I touched on when I visited your classrooms, uh, the cold front and the warm front and the stationary front, but I didn't mention the purple front, which is what we call an included front. Now, as you can see here, what happens around an area of low pressure, obviously it spins counterclockwise, right? But what typically happens is that the much colder air uh, tends to move faster around the low than the warmer air does. So eventually this colder air mass here catches up to the warm mass in that race around the low and basically what happens is it becomes an occlusion. It's kind of difficult to to explain but that's exactly what it is and that's why I really didn't cover it too much. Uh, it's basically whenever you see an occlusion or an occluded front something purple that kind of tells you that that low has been around for a while and it's relatively mature. So that's what uh, the purple means is basically a different type of front uh, which is associated with a well-developed area of low pressure that we call an inclusion. And again, uh, thanks for the uh, team at Fairfield Elementary Magnet for submitting that uh, question. Very good one. If you have a question, feel free to ask away. It's, it's one reason why I do these videos, again, to give, uh, answer any questions that you may have. So good luck with the competition again. Last day for forecasting for Texarkana. Reminder, we will not be forecasting next week. Take next week off, and then the last week of February, we will start forecasting for Concord, New Hampshire. So again, day 10 of forecasting. Good luck. We'll talk to you a week from Monday.